There are many reasons why you would want to use SmartList Builder. One is to get the data that's not represented in the out-of-the-box SmartList objects. And one of those, for me, is the results are the results from the MRP process in manufacturing. When I run the MRP process in manufacturing, it will suggest POs that I need to issue in order to purchase the items that I need in my manufacturing process. Those suggestions are represented in the request resolution window right here. And here you can see the result of my last MRP run. Well, what I'd like to do is get this information into Excel. And the easiest way to do that is to use SmartList. I don't have that object in SmartList now, so I'm going to use SmartList Builder to do that. So let's go ahead and create a simple SmartList using SmartList Builder. I'm going to name a new one here. It's going to be in the manufacturing product here because that's where the table is. And I'm going to look up the table, the manufacturing, and in manufacturing, most of the tables are in the third party series. Let me look up that table here. And here's the item, the table I want right here. This table has all that data that we just saw in the request resolution screen. So these are the tables here. If I wanted to, I could change the display names to make more sense or make more sense to my users. But I'm just going to leave them the way they are. I'm also going to select the defaults that I want to show in the smart list as soon as I open that smart list. And then that's all I need to do. If I need to add some additional restrictions or calculations or add some go-to buttons or go-to windows, I could do that here. But let's just make a simple one. Let's save that. And now let's go into smart list and we'll take a look at it. SmartList is going to rebuild its tables and we'll go into manufacturing. And here's the SmartList that we just built. It's going to look at that table there. Let's expand it here. Now, once it's in SmartList, I have all the tools that are available in SmartList that you're probably already familiar with. But what I really wanted to do with this list was to export it to Excel. So I'm going to do that. It's going to start Excel, create a new worksheet. Voila, that information's in Excel. So this is one of the reasons I really like SmartList Builder. I think that if you try it out, you'll like it too because there's a lot of information in GP and this is probably the easiest, the best way to get to it.